Come on, Nikki. All I'm just asking for your opinion. He's my client, Piper. Why don't you learn not to snoop on a man's private affairs? Well, well. Speak Repeating. of the devil. You're back. And not with your son. This is Paladin Dance on what happened? All Brotherhood of Steel units you were right, Nick. Kellogg did have my son. But that wasn't all. He was working with the Institute. He... He gave them Sean. The Institute? Oh, boy. I'm sorry, friend. Truly. That makes things considerably more complicated. We ain't kidding. Heck, Nick's a synth, and even he doesn't know how to get in. No synth does. Security protocols strip those memories out. I need to find a way. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night, and sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. Man like that would have had access. In and out. Yeah, but I'm guessing he wasn't the surrender and talk type, was he? He's dead, Nick. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. Doesn't matter what he knew. I'd kill him again in a heartbeat. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. I hope you're right, Nick. Let's see. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads, nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. I already have someone with me. I'll meet you there, Nick. All right. See you at the den. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more steps. Uh, well, you two are out. I'm gonna do some more research. I'll be at the public if you need me. Repeating. This is Paladin Dan. Well, well, Mr. Valentine, Repeating. I thought you had forgotten about little old me. I may have Dance walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. All Brotherhood hmm. of Steel units are to return to the Cambridge Police Station immediately for reassignment. Repeating. This is Paladin Dance. Dr. Amari? Yes. Yes. I remember you. All Brotherhood the of Steel units are to return to the Cambridge Ball Police Station immediately right? for reassignment. What's this all about? Repeating. This one's all yours, Nick. We need a memory dig, Amari, but it's not going to be easy. The perp, Kellogg, is already cold on the floor. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse. You don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Please. 
Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Yeah, mm, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. But Institute technology being what it is, the brain implant could fit him. But that's an incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we found your son. All right, let's do this. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine, just sit down. Repeating. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, this is okay? Paladin Dance on frequency 95. Let's see here. All Brotherhood of Steel units are to return I to the Cambridge Police Station. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. For any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? Repeating. A lot of flashes. I'm static. I, I, this is I can't make Dance sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Repeating. Tell me you have a way past this, Doc. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Alright, let's get started. Just sit down over there, and keep your fingers crossed. See you on the other side. This is Paladin Dance on frequency 9-5. All Brotherhood of Steel units are to return to the Cambridge Police Station immediately for reassignment. Initiating brainwave migration Repeating. between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. This is Paladin Dance it's degenerated, but it's there. Five. We are going to load you into the strongest memories All we can Brotherhood find. Of steel units they might are to not return be to the stable. Cambridge Police Just hold Station on. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me in, in her way. And she... Oh, I was such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? I think now she wanted me to kill him. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. But really, I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from Dad. Yeah, it doesn't matter now, though. Dad was either drunk 
or not around. I guess he must have run with one of the raider gangs, but I never really knew what he did. Don't know why Mom was with him. Maybe at some point in his life he wasn't a complete asshole. I'm sure that's gonna take some getting used to for a lot of people. Mm, what? People are always hoping for something better. They usually end up with something worse. Joke. What's it mean? This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. The thing about happiness is, is you only know you had it when it's gone. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but uh, you don't really believe it. Focus on the petty bullshit or next job or whatever. It's only looking back, by comparison with what comes after, that you really understand that's what happiness felt like. I thought San Francisco was my chance to start fresh. I was the hot shit, the gunslinger from the hub, rolling into town with the world at my feet. Everybody knew I was the one who'd shot Valdez. And I could write my own ticket to any outfit in town. It all worked out pretty damn well. For a while. I was the worst thing that ever happened to her. If she'd never met me, she'd have stayed in the hub. Maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill people for a living. Probably been happier than she was with me. Almost certainly lived longer. It's gonna be fine. You'll see. Whatever made me think that a guy like me should have a daughter? No, I... I never deserved her. Not for one second. But we don't know anybody here. And now... Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. I found another memory to try. I'll connect you. Mind if we uh, sit down? Suit yourself. There's always someone who wanted someone else dead. Sometimes just roughed up, but uh, dead was usually what they wanted. Sometimes they thought they could cheat me. That was usually only when I first arrived somewhere. Didn't matter to me. They just took it as part of the job. A little extra thrown in for free. I always got paid in the end. One way or another. I didn't care where I was going. Ended up mostly wandering east. Getting as far away from San Francisco as I could, maybe. So, um... I hear you'll take care of people's problems. I don't remember much from that time. It all kind of blends together. It was almost always a bar, though. That's universal. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job's done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it? So who do you want dead? Well, 
It's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. Mr. Kellogg, I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. I finally ended up in the Commonwealth. I kinda ran out of road. Plus, I'd come to terms with life. I wasn't gonna be stupid enough to get mixed up with caring about other people again. It was just me against the world. And the world had it coming. You heard all sorts of rumors about the Institute. But I figured they were just a convenient boogeyman for anything bad that ever happened. They were real, all right. They didn't know anything about operating on the surface. Relied on their synths for everything. They had the resources I needed. And I had the expertise they needed. Turned into a permanent arrangement. Which suited me just fine. We do, as you can see. The first synths weren't all that impressive. I'm good, but I'm not that good. But the Institute could always make more. And kept making them better each time. They still give me the creeps, but... You have to get used to them if you want to work with the Institute. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I can see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Hmm. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. We are running out of brain here. Ah. Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Manual override initiated. Oh God. Cryogenic Again. stasis. I'll try to locate another memory as quickly as I can. Please try to remain calm. How's now the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth? If they needed something done, they came to me. It wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission, so this one stood out. They didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Of course, neither did they. Not really. The eggheads never liked taking orders from a dirty, contaminated degenerate like me. But they needed me. And I made sure they knew it. That's good. The eggheads never liked taking orders from a dirty, contaminated degenerate like me. I never knew why we didn't just refreeze the rest of them. But we had our orders. <laughs> I guess the old man didn't want so many loose ends. Too bad he left alive the one person he shouldn't have. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all... Just... find it. Pod C6. Down the hall near the end. I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but, uh... I never liked to. And yeah, I guess it did remind me of uh, her.
Yeah, I'm a cold-hearted bastard for sure, but, uh, still human. Better this way, though. Better than taking her kid and leaving her alive. This is the one. Here. Open it. <laughs> is it over? <coughs> Are we okay? Almost. Everything's going to be fine. Come here. Come no, here, wait. baby. No, no. I've got him. Let the boy go. I'm only gonna tell you once. I'm not giving you Sean! God damn it. Get the kid out of here and let's go. At least we still have the backup. Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. What's the holdup? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. Come on. All right, we're good. I'm, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory. So, good news, I think. Wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid. Like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. Kellogg. It's okay. What? The new breed of synths could easily pass as human. Some of them did. But the Coursers, they weren't built to blend in. They were killing machines, pure and simple. Smarter, stronger, and faster than almost any real human. I'm just glad they were always on my side. One of these days you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. It's all over, but the dreaming. Egg 688. 
ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Bye. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. Slow movements, okay? I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. How do you feel? I'm okay, Doctor. Thank you. That's good. But I want you to keep monitoring yourself. We have to be sure there's no long-term damage. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? We got what we needed. The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. Yes, their greatest secret has finally been revealed. But that only leads to more questions. How does it work? Where do we go next? That scientist Kellogg was supposed to track down. Virgil, we need to find him. You're right. A rogue Institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That doesn't make sense. No one goes there. Not even if they were desperate. That's why he's there. To make the Institute think twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation in the glowing sea like a shield, or a cloak. A way to throw them off and be at an advantage. If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same. If you're going to follow him. I'll find a way to get through the rads. Don't worry. Good luck. And be safe. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Hell yeah. You're going to read that now? Hey, Valentine. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Kellogg? Is that you? What? What are you talking about? You... Feeling all right, Nick? Yeah, I'm fine. Why? You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Amari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Or I could head back to Diamond City, since you've got company already. I'll see you around, Nick. Good luck out there. You know where to find me. Sounds like Ellie needs to talk to us. We should head back to the office next chance we get. <laughs>